Dear Dominique, it's Thursday. I'm back home and I got to wear my ugly sweater to work. What is better than that? I am filming this on Tuesday of Christmas Eve just because I have a special guest and she won't be around um, after the holidays. So let me just bring her on. Oh, hello. Say hello to the camera, Keith. Um, Keith is going to be my sister's Christmas present because my sister needs something to take care of and ow, and be friends with. Ow! So I decided because she likes bunnies that I would get her a rabbit. Um, and we got Keith a couple weeks ago, so I've had Keith for two weeks, and we thought it was a boy because they told us it was a boy. The people who ow had the bunny, and then. When my mom went to go get her, we found out she was a girl, and I had already chosen the name Keith. So, <clears throat> we stuck with Keith because, oh, she looks like a Keith, doesn't she? I went back to work at the grocery store. I worked seven days in a row. It's been great. And I worked eight and a half hours the other day. And that was a first for me. And speaking of first, I turned 20 on Saturday the 28th, so I thought I would talk today about being 19 and all of the firsts I experienced and all of the interesting things that happened in the past year. In May of this year, I went to my first party as a college kid. And I've been to parties in high school, but this was like a party party, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was interesting. As, as a writer, and as a college freshman at that point in my life, it was interesting to observe and take in how the college people like to party. I have never read past the fifth Harry Potter book in my life. And I remember in fifth or sixth grade, I got a quarter of the way through the fifth book and I was like, boring. So I quit. And I finally restarted after a couple of tries this summer. And I got through the first five books this summer. And I started again a few weeks ago, got through the sixth book, and I'm halfway through the seventh. I'm not going to finish the series as a 19-year-old, but 19 was the age when I started and determinedly decided to finish the Harry Potter series. And I think that is very instrumental in my life because it's a very good series and it's something I'll remember forever because Harry Potter is going to be around forever. So for a decade it has been my goal to finish the Harry Potter series and I'm finally about to do it. And if you have seen all of the movies and not read any of the books or haven't read most of the books, do it because the movies are nothing like the books. There's so much detail. All in all, as a 19 year old, I've experienced many firsts and I really didn't want to turn 20 because I'm like all oh, the teenage years are so horrible, yet such a great excuse to do stupid things. And if you do something stupid, they're like, how old are you, you bleh, and you say you're 20, there's no excuse. And I think that's why I wanna stay a teenager. However, that's not the truth, because I've learned from other people that you have all of these ages inside of you. You have been four at a point in your life, you have been 10, you have been 14. And so if I'm acting like an idiot, it's only because I am harnessing that part of me that's really immature. I would say that 19 was a very memorable year, just because of the Harry Potters and the parties and the men's and just being in college and experiencing so many things for the first time, like joining the newspaper and the radio and the TV station. I'm going to remember those things forever, maybe. And I've realized that you can't hold on to an age. You gotta move on because good things are in your future. And I'm excited. So come on 20, bring it, cause I'm ready. Merry Christmas, Dominique. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope you get to spend time with your family and other things. Bye, Dominique. Merry Christmas. You got a poop machine, sister. Poop, poop, poop. Poop, poop, poop. <gasps> oh my god. You didn't. Oh my god. <laughs>